Welcome to Thailand Medical Hub of the World. I am Tulip Nai Sompop, your host in this episode. And today we are at the BMC Counter Suwannapum Service at Suwannapum Airport. And with us today we have the Executive Vice President of Bangkok to Sit Medical Services, Dr. Chatri Duongnes. Swadikha. Swadikha. So first of all, the reason that we are here today because Bangkok Hospital is one of the hospital that have that have set up the counter service, or you can even call it one-stop service for the patients or for the guests at the airport itself. So before we get into the detail of the counter service, uh, we would like to know a little bit more background of the hospital. Yes, uh, Bangkok Hospital is 42 years old and uh, started from one hospital. Now we have 31 hospital. Out, out of those, uh, we have uh, 10 hospitals that are taking care of international patients. So approximately 10 years ago, uh, we prepared ourselves with international standards. And we started doing marketing. And since then, until now, 30% of our hospitals for the whole system, 30% are revenue from international patients or flying in patients from different countries. So it's very important for, for us to make sure we protect it. Uh, jealously to make right. sure all of them come to us <laughs> properly. 31 facilities, how many of those in Bangkok? And I believe there will be Bangkok Hospital in the big cities such as Chiang Mai and Phuket also? Yes, uh, 12 of those are in uh, Bangkok and, and uh, metropolitan areas. And uh, those includes brand of Bangkok Hospital, B+, Smithivate Hospital, all of them, oh, okay. BNH, uh, Payatai and Paolo Group. And our hospital outside of the country, we call them Royal Hospital. Right. Or in Arab, we call them Malaki Hospital. Right. They are our hospital. Now we have 10 more coming up soon. Okay. In, uh, so we cover Bangkok and uh, more all the eastern area like uh, Pattaya uh, 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 and all those areas in the east, in the south, uh, Phuket, uh, Hat Yai, uh, uh, Samui, and even Suratani. Northeast, like uh, uh, Korat, and then uh, Konkan, and then uh, Udon. And then northern part, now we're starting, we built one in Chiang Mai, and we have one in Pisin Rok now too. So what is the turning point for the Bangkok Hospital to make it international? It's approximately 10 years ago exactly. Uh, we started to invite uh, uh, international. We call global patient flying in patients. Right. And uh, since then, as I mentioned, we cannot not having them anymore because thirty percent <laughs> of our income, one third of our income, up from international patients from outside our countries. Can you tell us the uh, portion of the foreign patients versus Thai patients? Yes, uh, approximately thirty percent are flying in patients from outside country. <clears throat> Majority of those are from the Middle East. Right. Uh, and then um, uh, and then ASEAN number two. Number three would be uh, uh, South Asia, like uh, like uh, Bangladesh, and then and, and North Africa, and then Europe come almost last because they have develop, developed countries, and then ten percent are expats, patient in the country, and then approximately sixty percent are Thais. So during the change to be international, of course, you have to uh, train your personnel, your staff, especially language. How do you prepare your staff? Yes, uh, luckily most of our th doctors uh, in Thailand, they're pretty good in, they're sufficient in English. Right. Um, yes, we have to <coughs> work <coughs> pretty hard on, on nursing and then nurse uh, assistants, all of the alliance uh, helpers like uh, technicians, all those. And then uh, obviously the people who, who know about the culture of the country. Uh, customer service people, uh, we make sure we have uh, uh, the, the people who really take care of them as a group or one by one, and interpreters, and then to make sure the communication is good. And people who take them around from the airport to hospital, come back to the airport, go back home, things like that. So does the attitude or service mind of the staff need to be redirected? Yes. Uh, luckily, but in Thailand, Thai people, regardless of who they are, they have, they have a service mind already. Right. We just kind of train them to have service mind in the same direction together as a teamwork. And that's, you know, for example, 
for referral system uh, for people to take care of patients from home all the way flying here to airport here to air to uh, hotels to hospital inpatient outpatient have surgery whatever and then go home as a cycle of 360 degrees we need to train a lot of people for those first processes I saw some of the bank hospital booklet that said caring 360 degrees is that a concept of the hospital adopting for the service to patient yes we we are pretty proud of our difference between our hospital and the rest of the world. Uh, all the country that call themselves as medical tourism. Our difference, the one, the one best difference is that uh, integration of clinical service <coughs> and hospitality service. Thai hospitality is number one. That we think we are different, and we uh, because of Thai people, we train them real good. Everybody love our doctors, our nurses, and our. Obviously, our service uh, department. Number two, uh, the circle of uh, support during the 60 degree from home to the airport, to the hospital, hotel, and back home again. And number three, we do have specialists. You know, we like in Bangkok uh, alone, we have um, uh, approximately 1,000 doctors. Out of those, 300 are full time, and all, most of them are specialists. So when somebody comes from a foreign country coming in. They come to our hospital, they can see three, four specialists in one day. Not like the other country, they have to make the appointment, they have to take right. them seven, eight days True. for those. So today, the day that we make an interview is actually the two years anniversary of this service center at Suwannapum Airport. So can you tell us what made Bank Hospital decide to set up this center at the airport itself? Yes, as I mentioned to you, <coughs> number two, the complete cycle of care, of support, <coughs> of coordination, I'm sorry, <coughs> of coordination. Uh, uh, one of them being patient coming, step their feet at Thailand mm -hmm. in the airport. We used to use uh, the other agent to right. take care of patient and then commute with, uh, communicate with our hospital to bring patient to our hospital or hotel. We found that we lost approximately 8% of our patient. Just disappear we don't know, yeah, on land. Disappear. And <laughs> since we have this, right? You know, everybody. Uh, we still we should use the same agent. Uh -huh. But if they miss them over there, they all come to our counter here. Right now, we don't lose patients anymore. Actually, we have more walk-ins. Okay. Twenty percent of our eight hundred patients a month. Twenty percent of them are walk-ins. They never heard of us before. Just walk in, and then we we gain patients outdoors also. So can I ask how much um, the center here has generated for the hospital? Is that okay to ask? Yes, approximately four million a month. Four million just, a month. Uh, just enough to cover all the activities here, you know, which includes meet and greet, uh, and also registration, and uh, uh, giving all information about our network hospitals services and everything and make sure everybody get ready for transportation to into town, uh, book hotel for them, or if they're not pre-booked before, and book for them to go see doctors in the hospital, and then take care of them the whole way through until they go home. So basically it's all one-stop service. Yes. What is the process of uh, preparing or to set up this center? Uh, we. How long it takes? Well, the most difficult part is to, to get the space itself right. from uh, the airport right. authority or you know, whoever is renting uh, from airport authority. And then we, we have to design that <coughs> we do have Bangkok referral center. Which mm -hmm. Part of them are working here also, train them and get them to know what to do here. It takes around three months. Right, because when you talk about one-stop service, it's not just hospital facility itself. You were talking about hotel booking and probably about car rental and such. That would need extra training for the staff? Yes, yes, definitely. We, we are not only taking care of patients, the families too. You know, they have to go shopping, tour, all those. We have to coordinate all those for them also. Could you tell us whether the dynamic changed since you set up the center here? Yes, I think <clears throat> since we set up here, everybody flying into our 
hospital. They're very happy because everything coordinated for them. I, I feel the place that when I go to a different country personally, the place I'm afraid the most is the airport. You know, how right. can I enter to the country? Right. Uh, would I have problem with immigration, uh, custom, and then would I have problem going into town where I'm gonna go? <clears throat> Especially patients who are sick. When they're sick, they, they have a lot of in their mind. So if you have complete care of them here, I think this is uh, the whole, I think make a total change. Since we didn't have this and we have this, I, we could see the flow much better, uh, satisfaction of the patients and family are much, much better. Talking about that, uh, it was mentioned in Bangkok Hospital website that uh, there are some additional service such as visa, custom immigration, fast track service. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, we help them fast track from airplane to here. And so then, you just pick them up at the, just yes, when they get out they, they the request, airplane? Yes, requests, at any, any request. Right. They pay a little bit more, then we do everything for them here. <laughs> That's uh, so convenient. Yes, uh, and then, and then uh, uh, most of our patients here, I think the government do a pretty good job. Right. They do have visa on arrival. Uh -huh. However, once they enter our hospital, when they need to extend the visa, immigration will come to our hospital and do it for them. That's very oh, nice, wow. good service. Okay. They do come to also our hospital and do extension visa for all patients. So that's an effort from government side to make sure they facilitate the Thailand that promote themselves to be medical hub of the world. We have to give credit to government, whoever say, whatever they say, but I think the government <laughs> worked very hard for medical tourism here, especially for this government. Uh, for Arab people, then now they come in, they have nine months to mm. stay. You know, they have to extend them so much. And then uh, uh, all those uh, service, uh, you, when you come in, I, I think it's so easy to come into this country going out. And then, and then uh, once they need extension visa, then uh, if they're sick, uh, immigration official will come and do it for them at the bedside, which is very good. Seems like Middle East, uh, patients from Middle East uh, are the main uh, majority of the foreign patients to Bangkok Hospital. Why do you think that is? Arab patients uh, like to come to our hospital. They call us Malaki Hospital in Arab. And, uh, is it has mean special royal. meaning? Royal? Yeah, okay. means royal. They think, uh, and when they come, they're looking for Malaki Hospital. And they, they come because they just like, uh, I just word of mouth. Uh, they go back. You know, for UAE, Qatar, uh, Kuwait, uh, Bahrain, and Oman, you go, UAE, Qatar, Kuwait come the most on top. They're so we are one. so we are safe to say Bangkok Hospital is pretty popular among Middle Eastern yes, countries. Yes, yes, that because they like our people, they like Thai people because Thai people are very friendly to the Arabs. I think some other hospitals in Thailand too, they like to go to those hospitals Isn't too. that mean the hospital have to provide the uh, translators? Yes. We have in, in our headquarters, we do have the whole building uh, dedicated to Arab patients. Our patients, inpatient, all floor, they all speak Arabic and they are having uh, patients, all of them in the afternoon, they, have, uh, they all have, always have uh, community um, a meeting every afternoon, they come and meet each other at the corner and things like that, and which is very interesting. We have area for them to pray, for male, female prayer, things like that. And during uh, Ramadan, we, we work with the Arabic uh, uh, embassies to provide food for them during Ramadan, during fast time too. So there must be some kind of study and research to cater to the needs of different religious and culture. Yes, okay. that's true. It's going to be 2015 pretty soon, and of course, there will be some effect to the medical industry of Thailand. And when we come back from the break, we'll talk about that. So stay tuned. The true winners will celebrate for just one day always aiming for higher standards, working harder each day to be even better than before. Look forward only to the goals ahead, never behind. Move forward and win together.
Sing Manchester United. If you are looking for the finest medical services offered anywhere... Good morning. Do you need any assistance? Our doctors, renowned worldwide for their exceptional proficiency and outstanding professionalism, are ready to welcome you. We welcome you with the latest in state-of-the-art medical technology. We welcome you with open arms to our world-class hospitals. We welcome you to Thailand. Dr. Chatri Duangne, the Executive Vice President of Bangkok Dusit Medical Services. And if you wonder what Bangkok Dusit Medical Services is, is the Bangkok Hospital Groups that actually have 31 facilities. Oh. I never oh. know that until I ask you. That is a lot of hospitals. I'm glad you asked them. <laughs> that is a lot of hospitals. So we were talking about a foreign patient, mainly for Bangkok Hospital. Uh, Middle East patient. A lot of people would have question about the transferation, the logistic. How do you transfer the patients? Do you use outsource? Do you uh, cooperate with other uh, company services for that? No, no. We use our own uh, because uh, they're not just translators. They have to know medical terms, and uh, that's very difficult because the patient try to communicate to our doctors. We do have some doctors that can speak Arabic. Some doctors speak Japanese. Some doctors, right. obviously, English. They all speak can speak Myanmar. They can speak Myanmar to our doctors. Chinese. However, to go around the whole, the whole campus, then we do have uh, interpreter slash coordinator. They have to be able to understand the need of the patients also. So we do have our own. We have uh, almost two hundred uh, interpreters wow, in okay. many languages. Uh, in at the headquarters alone, we have 3,500 patients, outpatient a day. Out of those, 1,000 do not speak Thai. Right. Each day, we have 1,000 patients do not speak Thai. So we, it's a huge need for translators. So we have uh, we have a translator as one on one, and then by phone and by uh, FaceTime. Mm -hmm. We do have we call tele interpretations. We have a room with uh, interpreter with all languages. And then they have, they can click, the doctor is in their examination room, can click what language they want, and the first interpreter come in. Wow. That, and okay. then the patient, and then they just go on with the business like so that. So this is how to combine the new technology, yeah. just to help facilitate the patients. Right, right. So I'm talking about how to transfer the patients. Uh, it said on your website that you also use the service of European Air Medical Institute. Yes. Is that accreditation or the service itself from? Uh, no, it's accreditation. They came and checked our uh, uh, patient uh, transportation, uh, our evacuation. When we bring sick patients from one place to another place in the country or outside the country or bring them into our hospital, they check our helicopter, they check our team, equipment that we go on, our process of taking care of patients, and they're approved by. Uh, Euro, um, uh, EU, EU medical, uh, uh, medical, medical institute. yeah, right. medical air institution, and they approve that we are uh, we accredited to be a quality one, and they allow us to do all those businesses. How much in advance a patient need from calling from their home in foreign country, such as let's say Middle East? until they get here, that you guys have to set up everything ready for them, how much advance they need? You talk about the get ready for... For receiving the patient and transfer them to the right uh, facility, receiving right here medical, at from, the airport. From here. the point that they give you guys a call in advance, how long, how long do they need? Um, a day or 24 hours, two days, 12 within hours? Within 24 hours, I would say, yes. 
within so, 24 so hours. So within 24 hours, if you it's can... far away, then we have to use fixed wings. We do have four companies that we outsource the fixed wings. Right. And then uh, we own our own helicopter. We that the area within uh, 300 kilometers radius, we can use our helicopter. We have a flying ICU. But anything wow. beyond that, we use fixed wing. We with our team, with our equipment, we can go anywhere uh, in the country, in the region, and even far away too. Okay. So <laughs> don't don't forget our sister company is Bangkok Airways. Right. So you know our boss also owns the Bangkok Airways, so we can use the, the uh, fixed wing anytime. So that that's make it a little easier for Bangkok Hospital to transfer the patients. So ASEAN Committee is approaching in 2015, yes. and uh, the government tried to make Thailand as the medical hub of the world. What will be the negative effect or positive effect to the to Thailand and to the medical industry? Yes. I, I break it to two levels. It's our own private hospital level. Uh, when you break from one country into 10 countries, from 65 million people to 600 million people, uh, the, right now, Thailand is already the hub. Mm -hmm. uh, Thailand already is popular because Thailand has a, uh, acceptable quality of care. Thailand has high hospitality. Pricing Thailand is not expensive at all. Right. And number four, most important, Thailand is a destination of tourism. Mm -hmm. Government did a good job on this one. So pe compared to the rest of the countries in Asia, they want to come to Thailand because so, the people who come with the patient, they have fun. They can right. go somewhere else. You know, why leave the uh, <laughs> sick one with, uh, with in our care because they trust us. So I still feel we get positive point for people who paying flying into now the negative point is that Thailand also has the best medical care personnel mm -hmm. doctors nurses and they can move freely out right. of the country also so that one can be one of a danger point because we have be been working very hard on engagement with doctors uh -huh. and nurses whatever they need make sure they're happy to be with us because uh, salary in uh, Malaysia, Singapore, they're almost three times more than they pay our nurses here. So we have to make sure that uh, it's some other point also. So we might lose some, but I don't think there'll be much. However, there'll be a lot of nurses and doctors want to come and work with us. Right, because that was going to be my next question. Because the medical personnel is one of the uh, professionals yeah. that actually allowed to move freely. Yeah within ASEAN, but actually come to work in Thailand, they would need a permit or certifying as the medical personnel and they have to take a test. I believe most of it in yes, Thai. Yes, yes. So that would be more difficult to move in, but isn't it easier to move out? Uh, that's a very, I think it's a one way dangerous uh, right? uh, valve or whatever. I agree with you. However, the government has changed. I mean, the Thai Medical Council has changed that. They can do English now. Yes. Uh, if, like you said, it's very dangerous for us because nobody would want to come. Only us can go out. Right. Um, Have Bangkok Hospital prepared anything, or you are pretty sure that everybody, we, most we of the working, people, will stay? We've been working the last <laughs> two years to do engagement with our doctors. We we recruited nurses for our whole system. Right. 31 hospitals. We do have uh, uh, 8,500 doctors right now in wow. our hands. Out of those, almost 3,000 are full time. Another 5,000 something are part time. And uh, we make sure they're all happy. Successful or not, I don't know, but we <laughs> try for two years now. We do have 7,500 nurses full time. And we adjust the salary. We adjust their work, uh, their career path, and everything according to their need. And I, I feel we, it's not going to be surprise or anything will be surprise damage to us. I believe nurse is also one of the profession that still lack or short in Thailand. How do you recruit people? Where do you recruit them? Do you have special companies, special process? to recruit the personnel? In, in our eyes, really, nurses not lack in Thailand. Right. Really, it's not shortage of nurse, but we have shortage of skilled nursing right. personnel. We have to bring in 
we recruit quite a few and we have to bring them in and we train them. It takes around two years for they, they're good enough to, wow. to help our patients. But we have been through that, you know, tediously for two years now. <laughs> I think we have enough nurses now, now uh, at this point. But year 2015, at the end of the year, let's see what's going to happen. Like you said, Singapore and Malaysia also advertise themselves to be medical hub of the world. How Bangkok Hospital keep yourself current with the new innovation, new therapy that's going on in the medical in industry? We just have to listen a lot and look around a lot and then try to adapt to everything that's coming around. And um, I think uh, our being Thai people, I think that's our advantage uh, because Thai people, everybody seems to be very friendly and uh, everybody seems to want to come to Thailand. Bangkok is still the most destination of tourists of, uh, in one in the country, uh, in the world, I'm sorry. And I feel that uh, uh, with that alone, uh, Bangkok Hospital is going to come up as a Thai hospital that would be recognized the whole world as a for-profit group hospital. We are number four in the world as a for-profit uh, group wow. of the market share, Okay. for-profit. And then uh, we want to keep that and we may even move, Be up, the top? move up a little bit more Who in the future. Who said that three before us? Number one is from the US, number right. two Malaysian, Singapore ah. group, number three Australian, number four okay. us. So how far along uh, between us and Singapore, Malaysia? Not far. So you think by 2015, what's the chance that we'll be able to top them? Oh, they're very good. We don't know. It lets the future <laughs> say by itself. What do you think will be the disadvantage point that make Thailand still behind Singapore and Malaysia? I think, uh, no, we're not behind them at all. That, that, that we are at, I so in we, medical aspect, we actually no, not, behind. No, not behind. For us to be a renowned uh, uh, medical institute in the world, we have to compare us to, to the Western world, to the U.S. Right. We do have a big brother, we have five hospitals, there's top hospital in the U.S. right now helping us. Research is the one. Okay. That uh, I don't think Singapore Malays do much research than us, we do more than them. But we, if you want to move up, we have to do more research along with the big uh, hospital in the world like uh, MD Anderson for cancer or you know uh, for we are working with uh, UCLA right now USC even Cedar Sinai uh, Mount Sinai Hospital and then uh, Stanford Hospital we are working with them in Mayo Clinic also how about university in Thailand yes uh, we work very closely with all university the closest one would be Sirat Right. Mahidon University. They are the big player. They take care of everybody. They take care of all walks in Thailand. Right. So they have to be the hero. We are the supporter. <laughs> Anything they want us to do, we, we, we will serve them. So uh, university hospital is supposed to be the best. Mahidon is the oldest uh, medical university in Sirat Thailand. Sirat is the best. Sirat is the yes. best, yes. So, Last question, what make Bangkok Hospital unique among others? Being Thai. Okay. That's all. That's the... Everybody come in, they'll go back and press how nice our doctors, our nurses are because they are Thai people. That's, I just came back from, from Europe right? yesterday. Uh -huh. They're far behind us on hospitality. No way they can catch up. They may be good in technology, but when it comes to human response, we are the best in the world. So we just, I think Bangkok Hospital, the same as any Thai hospital, we are so lucky. We, we are being Thai hospital <laughs> and everybody press Thai-ness. Right. So what do you, what do you call Bangkok Hospital in uh, Malaki? Hospital? Malaki. Malaki Hospital. Okay, so if anyone want to know more about Bangkok Hospital Services, you can just search for Bangkok Hospital and their website will just come up on the top rank and you can just give them a call. They will make sure they have all languages possible <laughs> to answer Right now your we call. have four or five, yes. Right now you have? We have Japanese, we have Chinese, we have uh, English obviously, and Myanmar, Arabic, 
Right. So all main languages cover. And uh, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you. And thank until you. I see you guys next time in Thailand, in the Kohab of the world, I am Tulip Naksompok. Sadika.